Hello everyone, welcome to a uh, match reaction to Newcastle United's big win. That's why right, a big win against West Ham United. 5-1. 5-1. Like, I, I had a feeling we'll beat West Ham, but I didn't think we would just dominate them in that second half. Could've been six, could've been seven. Like, we should have done this against Man United. Uh, this past Sunday but at least you know we, we kind of got our work cut out and um, another three points were, were, were third in the league still we we have 21 better goal difference than Man United who we are tied on points because they won against Brentford um, I didn't do a live watch along because it's it's five in the morning in my time zone so I didn't want to be like very loud and all but obviously uh, getting a match reaction very quick one um, Absolutely amazing. Uh, every single player today was fantastic. Um, I think I think the only bad point in the game was probably the goal that West Ham scored. I think Nick Pope. He's, Nick Pope has been kind of suspect um, over the past few few games. You know, the Kuv had a penalty against Wolves a few weeks ago. You know, wasn't that great really against Forest and and all that. Um, and today, you know, two corners that could have been two goals for West Ham, only one goal. Um, but overall, you know, every single player today, even Dan Byrne, who probably didn't have his best game, you know, losing the ball a few times. And, um, but overall, I think the team did very well. Um, Callum Wilson and Joe Linton getting the first two goals in the game in the first like 12 something minutes. <laughs> I'm just seeing the sort of what the, the, the live feed of it you know Macarena from Callum Wilson you know um, but yeah 12 uh, 12 minutes in we were 2 0 up and it just it just kind of seemed like the game was getting away from West Ham and they started off brightly as well West Ham let's give them a bit of credit but when it mattered we, we got two goals and then I think the remainder of the half I think West Ham were the better team um, and we you know kind of controlled the game you know 2 0 up I think I think the West Ham goal, very poor mistake by uh, Nick Pope, and at halftime it was two one. I was kind of worried that maybe West Ham could could be pushing on, and and what happened in the second half? 22, 22 seconds into the second half, a mistake from the back, a great not a great well, a great losing ball, losing the ball. Jacob Murphy. Easy assist and Callum Wilson made it 3 1, and it just seemed like the game was done and dusted. And West Ham, they tried to huff and puff, and then two goals. I think both goals were kind of, you know, long ball, you know, both times. Um, Fabianski, poor trying to get a poor clearance, and Isaac scored the fourth, and then the fifth goal, Joe Ellington, you know, receiving the ball. I think it was from Bruno this time, and getting that goal as well. It's just, we got both Wilson and Joe Linton getting two goals each and Isaac getting one as a substitute. So very, very good game from us. Um, you know, every player, you know, seven, eight, nine out of ten. I think Wilson, I, who would be the man of the match for me today? I think, I do think Callum Wilson, you know, he's been having a poor one of games, you know, just after the World Cup and now past two games, score against Man United to kill the game off and then score the first goal today and the third goal today to kind of, in a way, kill the game off and um, yeah, he's been excellent, uh, Callum Wilson and I just think that he deserves man of the match today but every single player did. I think Botman and Fabian Scher, Fabian Scher with the ball to Joe Ellington's first goal that looked offside at first but um, thankfully it didn't go in, it, 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 it went in and we scored, it wasn't offside. So, you know, three points were, were third in the league, 53 points, plus 26. Like, plus 26 goal difference. That is 20, as I said, 21 more goals than Man United. So, yeah, very, it was, apart from us conceding one goal, probably the most dominant game we've had since Probably Leicester City away, and that was on Boxing Day. I think this is our best game in terms of performance, the result, and everything. And I, I, 
I said we got a statement win against Manchester United uh, on Sunday and you know I hope that we followed it up we definitely followed it up 5-1 get in the hammers have been hammered by us the mad price and the bubble for David Moyes and for West Ham may have been burst um, so yeah good luck to uh, West Ham for the remainder of the season and for us went for the way not not I'm not going to jinx it yet, but you know, hopefully another two points in that game. Um, until then, I'll see you guys. I will, I will be doing a watch long for Brent for the way uh, because it's at 10 o'clock at night, so it's a, it's a good time to do it. I'm not at like 3 in the morning where it was today. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one and um, we're getting Champions League football, come on!